Hey. All right, I just want to say this as much as possible while we still have usage of uh, the internet, um, which I think is going to go down real soon. Um, <laughs> we've been taught to worship the flesh as the image of God, and it is not. The Bible's very clear. God is spirit. And Christ came in the likeness of flesh. The likeness but he of sinful flesh. In the likeness, he was not sinful flesh. All of our flesh is sinful. That should wake you up right there alone. Right there. <laughs> We've taken on the characteristics of that tree of the knowledge of good and evil. When we're born into this world, into this realm, into this dimension by a superimposition of time and place. Because we thought we could become like God. Because we couldn't ascertain the knowledge by asking questions. And God forbid it. But he allowed it. He forbid it. But he allowed it through free will for us to be born into this flesh. So we could experience it. And in doing so, by allowing it, he provided us a way back. He provided us a way back by a rebirth of our souls. Because when we disobeyed and turned our face away from our Father. When we turned in the opposite direction of the, from the source of all life. To this kingdom, this realm that Satan was given dominion and rule over for a certain time period. We were born, cast out, cast down, separated from. Our place of origin, we are the sheep that went astray, we're the prodigal sons that left our father's house and squandered our inheritance, which was eternal life and glory and paradise with our father and creator. And uh, we've been covered over in darkness by chains that bind us, our DNA, bones, ligaments, tendons, chains that bind us. The word for image in Genesis 1.26 means a vain show, a phantom, an illusion, especially an idol. We've broken the first. If you break one, you've broken them all. If you've broken the first one, you have broken them all. All the commandments. And we must be reborn of the Spirit like Jesus told Nicodemus. Do not marvel that I'd say you must be born again. That which is spirit is spirit and that which is flesh is flesh. The Father is spirit. God is spirit and me and the Father are one. And the Holy Spirit of God is the heart of our soul. When he comes into us, he re revitalizes, he renews our spirit. We are born again spiritually. Our spirit now becomes alive again so we can be reconciled back to our Father through his only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, who is God in the flesh. Make no mistake about that. He's our Heavenly Father. He's our Creator. In the likeness of simple flesh, he came here to show us the way because he is the way, the truth, and the life. This flesh must be crucified. <laughs> and you have to make a decision right now. What world do you love? What world are you clinging on to? What world do you want to belong to? Do you want to go home to eternal life in paradise with your creator, with your father, who loved you so much that he came here and died for you to show you the way to come back home? Or do you love and want to cling to and hold on to all the things of this world? cannot be lukewarm you cannot be both make a decision now make it today before it's too late spread this video far and wide if you can you know i ain't doing this i ain't doing this for my benefit <laughs> the more people see it the more people will probably think i'm completely crazy but that's what his word says and you will never see it you will not be taught it in church you cannot see it on your own you must <laughs> You have to take every single word back to its origin in the scriptures, in his, in his word, so you can see it for yourself and understand it. Don't believe me. Don't believe men. Do not believe what you've been taught. You must come before the Lord as a child with a humble heart, forgetting what you've been taught by men. Do not esteem the teaching of men higher than the teaching of God. Do not do it. Only his Holy Spirit, only Jesus Christ is worthy to break that seal and unroll the scrolls to you personally through the gift of his Holy Spirit. All right, wow. Man, and I'm noticing things are getting harder. Uh, uh, it's getting much more difficult to post videos, to load videos and everything. 
So anyway, there's that. Sorry about that little fall. <laughs> the fall of my phone. <laughs> you know, it's a constant battle. It's a constant battle. You have to free your mind. This is the matrix. <laughs> this is the matrix. We live in the matrix. We're not taught the truth. All right. Choose. Choose which world you want to belong to. Choose today while you still have the opportunity. All right. God bless. Have a great day. Bye.